counting is our capability to have a peaceful transfer of power. If you don't have that, the alternatives are revolutions. We call them voting machines, but they're nothing more than obsolete computers. 2002 is when they put them in service. A commonly used argument, they are never connected to the internet. No voting machines are connected to the internet. Not connected to the internet. Not connected to the internet, and therefore cannot be attacked. Oh, it wants to go to internet. That's very nice. In 2016, we know that Russian actors targeted state election systems. When people say no votes were changed, it misses the point. Imagine you go in and flip the digits of everybody's address. When you prevent people from casting a ballot, you've hacked an election. Hackers are a wonderful resource. Every voting machine in this room is in use in next election. We are here three days a year. The real adversaries, they run it 24-7 with massive funding. We are in. Hari takes it personally when people do stupid things with technology. What do you think the security pin is? They upgrade to 111111. <laughs> that was not a joke. <laughs> we may be buying the world's best 20th century military when the battlefront is election security. I had full access. I could have changed any vote. It's called a kill chain. Weaponization, paralyzation. When the governments cannot take action, that's when you finish the target.